Hello, hope you have a great day ahead. Today, we will be talking about skin in regards to Kim 4603 Cosmetic Chemistry Assignment. My name is Suvitra Paramasivam. Introduction to Skin The skin is the largest organ of the human body, covering a total area of about 20 square feet. This also makes up a largest part of the human integumentary system. This picture shows the anatomy of the skin. Function of skin includes protecting it from chemicals, heat, cold and bacteria, regulating body heat and temperature, and synthesizing vitamin D and UV. Next, we will be looking at the three layers found in skin, which includes dermis, epidermis, and hypodermis. This is an image of the layers found in the skin. Dermis is a strong, flexible, connective tissue. It includes four types of cells and two types of layers. Four types of cells include fibroblasts, macrophages, mast cells, and white blood cells. The two types of layers are papillary layer and reticular layer. The anatomy of the dermis. Epidermis is a keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. It consists of four types of cells, which is the keratinocytes, melanocytes, Merkel cells, and Langerhans cells. Five types of layers include stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, and stratum corneum. This is the anatomy of the epidermis. Hypodermis is also known as the subcutaneous layer. It is a fatty tissue which stores fat and anchors skin. Different patterns of accumulation are found in the epidermis for male and female. What is skin dryness? Skin dryness is a very common skin condition characterized by a lack of appropriate amount of water in the most superficial layer of the skin, the epidermis. Dry skin tends to affect nails and females equally. The elderly are more prone to dry skin than younger people. Because the skin in elderly individuals tends to have diminished amount of natural skin oils and lubricants. Arms, hands, and particularly low lips tend to be more affected by dry skin. What is the symptoms or effects of skin dryness? People who have dry skin can often find rough, dry, red patches on their skin, and these patches are often itchy. Feet, hands, and lips prone to cracking due to dry skin. Redness and cracks in the skin, sometimes deep enough. That they need. All lotions are marketed towards curing one purpose dry skin. The cause? Transepidermal water loss, or two. The blood vessels in the dermis supply water and nutrients, which then migrates outwards to hydrate cells in the stratum corneum before evaporating. The bricks and mortar model. The stratum corneum, or the outermost layer of the skin, resembles that of a bricks and mortar structure. But the bricks are the dead cells, corneocytes, and the mortar is made of fatty layers of lipids or proteins. Together, they form a strong barrier of protection from the outside world. When the moisture level in air drops, the protein links break apart and fractures develop between the groups of corneocytes. Loss of intercellular lipids that form the bilayers damage the water barrier function. The stratum corneum then calls into action repair mechanisms. Lotions are oleaginous substances that trap and replenish moisture within the epidermal layer, inhibiting tool by occlusion and successfully preventing dehydration of the stratum corneum. They are used to replace natural skin oils to cover tiny fissures in skin and to provide a soothing protective film. They may thus slow evaporation of the skin's moisture, thereby maintaining hydration and improving the appearance and tactile properties of dry and aging skin. There are four classes of lotions, occlusives, humectants, emollients, and mix of all three. More on how lotion works. Please refer to the link below. Today, I'm going to present about the prevention of skin dryness. There are many ways to prevent our skin from getting dry. The first one is moisturize. You may also want to use cosmetic that contain moisturizers if your skin is extremely dry. You may want to apply oil such as baby oil while your skin is still moist. Because oil has more staying power than moisturizers do and prevents the evaporation of water from the surface of your skin. Next, you may use warm water and limit bath time. Long showers or bath and hot water remove oil from your skin. Limit your bed showers or showers to 5 to 10 minutes and use warm, not hot water. Moreover, avoid harsh and drying soaps. It's best to use cleansing creams or gentle skin cleanser and bed or shower gels with added moisturizer. Choose milk soaps that have added oils and fats and make sure to avoid deodorant and antibacterial detergents, fragrance, and alcohol. The final one is apply moisturizers immediately after bathing. Gently pat your skin dry with a towel so that some moisture remains. Within a couple of minutes of bedding, apply moisturizing creams or ointment to trap moisture in your skin. A product in which petrolatum is one of the top three ingredients may be best. Product contains glycerin, lactic acid, or urea may also help. Today, I would like to talk about type of dermatitis. We have contact dermatitis, atopic dermatitis, and athlete foot. What is contact dermatitis? This occurs when something comes into your skin, which causes an irritant or allergic reaction. Your skin may be dry, itchy, and red, and you may also have a skin rashes. Some examples include jewelry metal, cosmetic, detergent, or medication. 
then atopic dermatitis or we call enzema. This group of skin condition causes red, dry, bumpy and itchy patches of skin. Several pop can cause cracking of the skin which make you more prone to infection. This common skin disorder often affect children and can be inherited. Irritant, allergen or stress can make enzema worse. Last, we can see the example of athlete food. This can be mimic dry on the feet but it actually causes by the fungus. When this fungus grow on the body, it's called a ringworm. People who have athletic food may have try flaky skin on the sole of their feet. Skin performs many beneficial functions and it does undergo changes and damage. Aging and illness take their toll while wounds, burns and skin diseases including cancer can damage its organ. Skin care which includes nutrition, avoidance of excessive sun exposure and appropriate use of emollients supports skin integrity, enhances its appearance and reduces skin conditions. Practices that enhances appearance include the use of cosmetics, botulinum, exfoliation fillers, laser resurfacing, microdepression, pills, retinal therapy, and ultrasonic skin treatment. Skin care is also a routine daily procedure in many settings such as skin that is either too dry or too moist, and prevention of dermatitis and also the prevention of skin injuries. Skin care is a part of the treatment of wound healing, radiation therapy, and some medications as well. Thank you.